Hey YouTube, this is Doves from Etcetera Gaming. It has been a long time coming. I've been busy for the past year, um, but I've gotten a little bit more settled in, so hopefully I can give you uh, more videos more consistently. Uh, what we're going to be talking about today is optimizing your graphics settings to get the most out of your hardware and um, uh, your gameplay. So the first thing we're going to look at is your graphics settings. Actually, that's pretty much what all we're going to look at, but... Um, if you're having trouble getting to a good frame rate, uh, you might want to look into uh, decreasing your resolution. Uh, the higher the resolution, the more your graphics card needs to work. So, um, decreasing will drastically help you get more frames. Uh, next thing you want to do is turn off vertical sync. Uh, this is personal preference. The reason I do it is because having vertical sync on increases input lag, and that's not what I want. Um, but also keep in mind that it w does typically increase screen tearing, but it doesn't really bother me. But if it bothers you, um, that's kind of your preference. Um, make sure mo motion blur is off. That's, again, it's one of my preferences. Okay, so now we're going to get into the bread and butter of uh, Battlefield graphics. Uh, first thing you want to do is turn the graphics quality to custom. And uh, later on, I'm going to link you to, or in the comments, I'll link you to um, a website that describes what each of these things uh, do uh, for your graphics, uh, if you're interested in that. Um, but what we're going to be talking about today is um, these three down here, anti-aliasing and uh, ambient occlusion. So anti-aliasing smooths out all the um, jagged edges, and ambient occlusion um, makes the lighting pretty pretty much and these have a lot of impact on your frames so I like to have them off um, because again our goal today is to maximize your or optimize um, that balance between uh, your frame rates and I guess visual effects another thing that I um, did for my graphics is uh, for mesh quality I turned to ultra and the reason why is, is um, this increases the distance that you can see. Um, and it also uh, lets you spot enemies a lot further away. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is make a user config file. And I will show you how to do that. Alright guys, so to make a user config file, what you are going to do is right click on the desktop. Select new text document and you're going to name it user we're going to open that up and then what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, open up my user config file and I'll, I'll have this in the comments below so they can just copy and paste it if you want to use it um, all right, first of all uh, in game when you slide the um, motion blur bar all the way to the left, it doesn't completely turn off motion blur. So this bit of uh, command here uh, turns that off completely. And what a user config file is, is uh, it's a list of um, in-game commands uh, that the game processes before the game starts. Um, so vsync. Just turn that off. Um, force render ahead limit. Uh, what this does is um, it tells your GPU how many frames it should render at a time ahead of your current frame. And it's to uh, reduce screen tearing. Um, and again, the purpose of today is to increase or maximize your frame rate um, as opposed to uh, eye candy. Um, the overlay draw FPS, this makes it so that your uh, frame rate pops up in game on the upper right. Okay, so this one right here, game time max um, variable FPS. This puts a cap on the frame rate that you want. So my monitor is a 60 hertz uh, monitor, which means I can effectively only get 60 frames per second, or my monitor can um, display only 60 frames per second. So I cap it at 70, and the reason why I do this is because it's 
unnecessary for me to have over 100 frames or my uh, graphics card processing over 100 frames because I won't be able to make good use of it because due to um, the constraints of my monitor. So in order to decrease the work my machine has to do so, so that it doesn't make more frames unnecessarily, I cap it at 70, which is a little bit more than the refresh rate for my monitor. Uh, the overlay draw graph, I turn it off, but what this does is um, it produces a graph in, in game of your CPU and GPU activities. This is good if you're trying to figure out why your game is not working as it should. Like if you're getting um, rubber banding, stuttering, lagging, uh, this will help if it's a network issue, CPU issue, and or a GPU issue or none of the above. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this. And then save as. All right, we need to change this save as type to all files and we're gonna do user dot cfg save and then we can now delete that one so we're going to copy that and then we're going to go into your game directory so um, yes. go into your uh, main drive or wherever this game is um, located. Uh, program files, um, x86 for if you have uh, a 64-bit OS, or just program files if you have if you're on 32. I'm gonna go into origin origin games, Battlefield, and this is gonna pop up, and you are just going to paste it in there, and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. All right, guys. Um, oh, also. Um, that program I was using to edit my CSG files, Notepad, Notepad++. If you guys want a copy of that, it's free. Um, I'll link that below in the comments as well. Um, that pretty much uh, concludes uh, today's uh, tweaking session. So um, I hope this helps out for those of you who are having uh, frame issues. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to let me know, and I'll get back. I'll, I'll get to you as soon as, soon as I can. Um, in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.